Hello, and welcome back to the Goalie Be a Pro, where I'm still trying to get over an illness here caused by last video. The quality and quantity of goals scored on me in the last video induced projectile vomiting. But hey, new day, new me. Hopefully today, I can actually save a puck or two. That'd be really neat. In the last video, we passed the trade deadline where our GM didn't really do anything, which again, fair enough, because our team is up there. So, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. This is what our team looks like. We got McTavish, Zegris, and Frankie on the first line. I'm down. Barabanov, Terry, DeBrusque. Very solid third line. Fourth line, you know what? Sasha got us a goal last game, so... Or last video, I should say. I don't think it was the last game. No, because we did a lot of sim. Anyway, scored a goal in the last video, so... Good for you. Defensively, we are pretty stacked. And in the cage, Scott Sterling. Who better step his game up. At this very point in time, we are 5th in the league. The Dallas Stars are ninth, And we are going to be finishing the season in this video. So, we are currently in March. And the season ends in April. So, yeah, there's really not that much left. We're going to play three games here. Sim the rest. And we should. Unless we have a monumental, historic collapse. Be in the playoffs. Definitely do not rule it out yet. It's possible. Let's start off here by taking on the stars. Hopefully we have a respectable third period to jump into. Otherwise, I'll just sim the whole game and we'll find one that we do have a decent score. Power play for the Ducks? No. Yes! We didn't score in the power play, but we scored immediately after. And then Zadorov scores for the stars. They have five shots and two goals. Grow up. All right. Can we chill for a second? Thank you, McTavish scores. It is cut down to a one goal lead. They have 15 shots and three goals. I think, yeah, I might just continue to be sick with this performance. It's unacceptable. Can the mightiest of ducklets form a comeback here in this third period and have a massive win? At this point of the season, every game really matters because the standings are just constantly changing. If we can even get it into overtime and get one point out of it, like that is fine by me. At least we don't walk away completely empty handed. So yeah, I gotta try and not be awful, which is quite the task. Let You're telling me Corey Perry's gonna get dropped like that and not fight? This game's unrealistic. Go. What was that? Yes! I made a save! Can you believe it? That is a good way to start. Right in the mitten off of Corey Perry, who, yeah, he just got dropped. And it, go! The hand-eye on that guy is surreal. That was, like, immediate, too. Saucer pass and all, and he got rejected. Nice try. That was huge. Jake O was up to the challenge, though. He is a... Wonderful goaltender. Very talented. It is going to be tough to score one here in this third period. But I believe in you guys. I do not, however, believe in my ability to keep the puck out of the net. But, maybe I can. I guess we'll find out. I think my strategy is going to be to, like, really... That's going to help. Really limit my movement. Instead of having all these drastic, you know, left to right swing, stuff like that. I got to change something. Because obviously, whatever I was doing in the last episode did not work. At all. We've been tossing a few biscuits in Ottinger's general direction. And so far, nothing has worked out. Uh, I think I should be able to get that. Spin him off. Whoa! Okay, it worked out in our favor. It almost really worked out in our favor. This goalie is unbelievable. I can't be upset with how our offense is playing right now at all. We've gotten a lot of chances. Another one and another save. Yeah, they're doing everything they can. It's just... Jakey is standing on his head. I knew that pass was coming and truthfully... I still don't think I even properly stopped it. Holy crap. See, that's what I, I let go there and let the tethering reset me. And then I was sort of just chilling. Was there some extremely unnecessary movements in there? Yeah, there was. Okay, but overall, I think that was still a lot more calm and a lot more composed than I normally am. Oh my word, Robertson just got leveled. 
This guy! One of these pucks has to go in. We are getting way better chances than the Stars. Actually, to be fair, they've had a few close calls as well. But we've definitely had the majority of chances. Here we go, 7-4. Unacceptable. We still have it, though. Win that battle. No! Corey Perry's going to come out with it. And now Dallas will be headed back this way. Or will they? Maybe not. How does that miss? And then Zadorov's there. Yeah, like they are shutting it down right now. Props to the Dallas Stars. Because I do feel like we have earned a goal here in this period. And... Okay. I slid a little too far to the left at the end there. But again, overall, not upset with that. Here we go, Ducks. Back on the attack. Hannafin. Yes. Nice, Zegris. He kept it. Shoot it. Through the crowd. Oh, I like that too. He's scrambling. No, Silverberg ends up winning the battle and gets the puck out. That is heartbreaking. This feels like a playoff game right now. It really does. The puck meets Irene. Can we catch a break here? All right, Robertson. <laughs> that was uncoordination in its purest form. Henson and Robertson just totally got in each other's way. Whoa! Okay, get up, get up. Yeah, we're good. Hug the post there, maybe. Cool. Uh, you know what? I'm really happy with how this is going so far. What a bounce back from last video. Time is running out. We now have a minute and a half. In order to tie this thing up and get a point out of it. Yeah, I don't know. And they definitely don't have enough shots either in this third period to justify me having a 900 save percentage because they did have, what, I think it was two goals on five shots. So, pretty tough to recover from that. That bounced off something. I guess I'm probably going to get pulled soon. Another save from the Zadorov shot at the top of the circle. Am I not getting pulled? Normally they do, but nope. Guess they're like, screw that, I don't want to win. We got 10 seconds left. Still no? Oh, that is very unfortunate. But I do got to give credit to their team and Jake. Because they shut it down big time. We were hitting them with the pressure. We were. 40 shots. Well, good game. Gibson, you better win this. This is the last place... Nashville Predators. It better go to 36. Here it goes. We're going to blow it. We are going to miss the playoffs. The Minnesota Wild are 27th in the league. Come on now. We're on a two-game losing streak. This is not okay. Go to times eight. Can we get the first goal and just get started on the right foot, please? Sasha, you legend. Amazing. DeBrus scores now. It is a two-goal lead. The worst lead in hockey. Colin Blackwell buries one. On Scotty Boy, cuts the lead in half. And will we be entering the second with that? No, we won't. Because Danforth scores with 0.01 seconds left. Zegris lights it up to start the second, putting us back in the lead. Vetrano gets one. What's going on? Back-to-back -back power play goals. And all of a sudden, that lead looks pretty nice. If we do have a 5-2 lead going into the third, I'll probably just have this be a sim game so that we can try to jump into one that's closer. Uh, yeah, I'm still going to do it. 6-3, your final score. Next up is the Winnipeg Jets. They have more wins than us, but we have six more overtime losses. So we are ahead of them in the standings right now. But yeah, it's right there. Whoever wins this, it could shuffle. Actually, probably not because I think we'd still have them in row. But let's simulate the first two and see where we are at that point in time. Times eight. Once again, Sasha, if you score again, I will be so gassed. Instead, it is Nate Schmidt. I am not gassed. No. Don't be doing this. Shots are 12-8 in favor of Winnipeg. And Kyle Connor scores. All right, screw this. 4 nothing, And 6-2. Unbelievable. We face the Jets back-to-back, -back, and this time they're starting Gibson. Come on. Yes! All right. He revenged me. Avenged me. Revenged me makes absolutely no sense. I don't know where that came from. Another game here that we should win against the LA Kings. They are 21st. 
Can we have like a close sim for once? Is that a lot to ask for? You know, like, is that all I'm getting for Christmas this year? That and Cole. Both teams scored in that first period. Shots are fairly even as well. So at this point in time, it is anybody's game. I mean, it would be anyway, unless it was like a 6 nothing first period. But Dubois scores, making it a 2-1 lead for LA. Come on. Love that. Zegra scores. It is tied up again. Stop giving them power plays, guys. Oh my word, we scored shorthanded. Strom, you are a beautician, my friend. Whenever there's a power play and you see the simulation kind of like freeze, immediately you just kind of jump to, okay, yeah, it's a power play goal. But not this time. This time, we got one shorthanded. And it put us in the lead to boot. Just a random question. How do you guys feel about the chrome helmets? I think, yeah, the Golden Knights have one, if I'm not mistaken, and LA has one on their third jersey, I believe this is. Alternate, whatever you want to call it. So, I think I'm down. It's like a, a change, you know? Instead of going with all the basic stuff, I also would like to have a purple team in the NHL, like the old LA Kings jerseys, but the Ducks also used to be purple. Actually, now that I think about it, the Ducks have had a lot of rebranding. Like a team such as Detroit... I don't think they've changed ever. <laughs> and then, yeah, the Ducks, they've had the blue Mighty Duck jersey that you see some of the fans wearing. They've also had like a purple one. They've been orange. Black is the primary jersey color. They've had a lot of different jerseys. Nice save, Scotty. We now have the power play. Dubois was undisciplined, took a charging call. While his team had the man advantage. And now it is our turn. Hopefully we do not follow in his footsteps. No. Why did the defense step up like that? Okay. There's no way he has a good angle here. Yeah. Easy. And another blocker save. Uh, back to the point it goes. Whoa, 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 Scott. Get your positioning in check here. Nice try. Was that Frederick Anderson in net? Yeah, I mean, again, it is be a pro, so the rosters are gonna be insane. I feel like our team is, like, not that crazy. We still have Zegris, we still have Vitrano, still have Mason, Terry. Well, I made the save, but we are headed to the PK once again. Another charging call from our captain. Can't be doing that, Franco. When do I get to initiate meetings? When can I go up to Frank in the locker room and be like, buddy, how about you stop taking penalties in the third period when we're trying to make the playoffs here? You know, is that crazy? And then I'll make him make a promise to never take a penalty again in his life. Battle along the boards. Can we get this thing out? No, we can't. Neto gets it knocked off of him by Hannafin. Great defensive play. Did Dubois just take another one? No, he didn't. Oh, yes, he did. Nope. That's not the ref. That's the linesman. No penalty. All right. But we are even strength yet again. So, yeah. This has been a very undisciplined third so far. But no goals as of yet. Blocker save. And Clark going around the net. Okay, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The positioning there again. I don't know. Like, I don't feel as though I'm doing that. I mean, I obviously am. But I feel like it's being way more dramatic than I am, if that makes any sense. Give me another one. Free save here on Kempe. Oh! Well, that wouldn't have been free. No, I got your back on that one, Frank. That's not a penalty. That was clean. Did we just take another one? Just throw the game away. How about, guys? What a catch by Byfield. At least we got the puck out here. We're killing some time on their two-man advantage, so... Yep, good start. That's one. That's not two. That is not two. Good shot. We're tied. The worst part is that that was scored on the five-on-three. So we are still... Trying to kill one more off here. Kempe tried to take a shot, but didn't quite get it off. That went just wide of the net. Shouldn't have even... Go! Go, 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 go! 
Escape! There is no excuse for that. None. Holy. I don't know how Scott found that through the crowd. But I am not going to ask questions. Yep, we're taking another penalty. And we have... Three minutes and 49 seconds left in this third. Can we do some discipline training? Clearly, everybody on this team has 55 discipline. That was an awful pass out. It almost worked. It was so close right at the blue line. They managed to keep it in. We might still be able to get it out here. Yes, we do. Nice. Was it this game we got the shorthanded goal? Because if so, you guys could do it again. You know? It's definitely a possibility. They're cooking. Good save. I mean, not really. That was sort of a weak shot. But for me, it's a good save. Because if I made that, I'd be pretty hyped. Behind the net it goes. When it comes out, nobody knows. Wow, how the turntables. Even if we don't score in regulation, we will head into the 3-on-3 three -three overtime with a man advantage as well, which is huge. Yes! Let's go! Passed it in front to Barabanov, and their goalie overslid that time. A computer goalie. So if it can happen to them, then it can certainly happen to me. But now I don't feel as bad. Look at that. Number nine, Kempe. Left his man open. What a shot, too. Holy crap. 30 seconds remain. Actually, not even 20 now. Just get the puck out of our zone. That's all we have to do. They aren't... Well, I could get Toscala, so I shouldn't say that for sure. But the odds of them scoring when the puck is not in our zone drop drastically. We were just playing a game of keep away at this point, and I'm in. Yeah, we needed that one. It's all green, baby. That's what I'm talking about. 909 save percentage. What's our overall save percentage? Ooh, okay. I thought it was better than that, but hey... At least the first digit is not an eight. We don't have high standards here. If this is your first time watching one of my Bia Pros. Let's go for agility. Because then we can more quickly transition from one save into another. Sounds pretty good to me. We are facing the LA Kings yet again. I am probably just going to sim this entire game. Because I don't want to face the same team twice. But we'll see how it goes. Alright. Ooh, that's not good. And... Oh, we lost 2-1. Bedard should actually be on Chicago. So if we sim this and it's somewhat close, then I would be more than happy to jump in. And first of all, make sure that he is there. I don't think we're getting Leo Carlson, by the way. From what I've heard, I think the draft like resets and we were in the Bedard draft. So he went first to Chicago and then we went second to the Ducks. Okay. Not ideal, but not bad. 1-0 Chicago after the first period. Let's see if we can get it back. We sure do. Who is that guy? Best not to ask questions. Bertuzzi scores. It is 2-1 for Chicago now. Come on, let's tie this thing up. Let's have a 2-2 third period showdown. Or we could try to come back. That's cool too. Oh, you would in it. Look who it is. That is so disrespectful. Somehow they have Rasmus Dahlin. So they have Jones and Dahlin playing together. They have Jeremy Swayman in the net. They have Bertuzzi, Bedard. I think, yeah, they had 35 wins, 36 maybe. So they could be in a spot for playoffs. I believe in you lads. You guys can get two goals here. Tie this thing up and at least get one out of it. Even though we have started the majority of games this year, I'm still wondering... If we will get the playoff start. If we make playoffs. I feel like we're going to, but... Would they give it to Gibson? Or are they gonna give it to the kid, as James says? Nice try. Once again, I can't be upset with how our offense has come out here in this third. We are flying. But just can't score. Oh, wow. I thought that was going in for sure, but we actually managed to get enough of a piece of it. That it went wide. I'm surprised it didn't go off of us and then in. Big save at the other end as well. So yeah, this is the last year's draft. First and second overall picks. Going head to head. And right now, we are not getting the better of them. 
Whoa! <laughs> That's a hit if I've ever seen one. That's not a shot, though. And I have seen a couple hockey pucks shot on net before in my day. What a deke! This is just like a lot going on right now. No! We got a tripping penalty. Gonna have to kill it off here. And we're down by two. I do not foresee a W in our immediate future. Maybe, though. Could possibly kill this off, get some momentum. Go score two quick ones. It's not impossible, I'll say that much. Get out of here! I saw that pass coming again. Read you like a book. I still could have gone in though, even though I did <laughs> predict he was gonna pass it. I'm just scarred from the last video because that was horrific. Un five on three. We can't be doing this, guys. If you wanna win games, stop taking penalties. It's a pretty simple formula. You know, you don't gotta solve for X. It's not Y equals MX plus B. Just don't take penalties. It's that simple. Bertuzzi goes for a pass in the middle. Hey, there's our guy, Forche. Take a shot, Betsy. He did, and he missed the net. Which I don't know if Bedard misses the net a whole lot. Oh, okay, reset. Nice. No, no. I thought for sure that was going to be scooped up by their players. I mean, yeah, if they score here, this is definitely my fault. Could have just not passed that out, but I did. Thankfully, we didn't end up paying for it. Oh, no! If he shot that quicker, he had the entire net. But thankfully, there was the hesitation, and I was able to slide over. Barabanov was getting teed up there. Thankfully, he managed to dump it in, and Darlene let him have it. Okay. All right. And then that happens. 4-1. Not going to be a win. I was not in position for that one. But thankfully, he shot it right in the middle of the net. Can we get, like, one here? You know, just to have some sort of third period excitement. What a goal. Thank you. I asked for one, and they got one. So you guys met my expectations. Promise success. So I was cooking up some series ideas last night, and I came up with a Be A Pro franchise crossover where we play franchise mode, but we also put a goalie on the team that I'm going to be playing as, and we probably sim and play as many games I do in Be A Pro. So like finish a season in a few episodes and I don't really know like obviously there's some stuff I got to work out and try to kind of get the logistics of it what makes it actually work but the general idea is there so hopefully I can come up with something to make it actually work and then yeah maybe that could be the post Scott Sterling series. I am getting pulled, which is weird, because I didn't get pulled in a one-goal game, but... Ah! Get me off! Get me off! Get me off! He just saved my life. Whatever that defense did to get in the way of that puck, you are appreciated. All right, all right. The first overall pick got the better of the second overall pick. I'm sure that was advertised like crazy. Actually, speaking of advertising the game, they made me think of actually watching hockey, and now I have something that grinds my gears, so I'm gonna bring it up. I thought it was illegal for commercials to be substantially louder because clearly it isn't. I'll be watching a game, it's like normal volume, whatever, blah, 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 and then all of a sudden, the TV's screaming at me. And I'm like, I don't know what this is an ad for, but I am going to boycott you for the rest of time because you did this. We have 12 games left in the season. We are currently sitting at 38 wins and third in the division, but we are pretty comfortably in third, although we do have three games on the Kraken. So let's sim up to these final four games and see where we are then. Nice, that's a huge win. We got a point out of it, so that's okay. We got revenge on Bedsy. Okay, I think we've kind of secured it here. Yeah, we've clinched. Okay, so I will just simulate these last four and we can go look at some stats. Conversation with the coach. 
Is this it? Are they going with the kid? You've gotten us this far. You are our starting goaltender heading into the playoffs. Appreciate it. Doesn't look like our season record against the Golden Knights is very good here, but they are our first round opponent. Yeah, so we are currently 0-1-1 against them. Let me find the other ones. Okay, 1-1-1. One, 6-3 one, and one. Six, three as well. 1-2-1. One, and, and that was a 5-2 loss. So they got the better of us in the season. With 42 wins, we would finish third in the Pacific Division. 94 points. I wonder where we finished in the entire league. So the Golden Knights had 99 points and 47 wins. And 94 points gets us 10th in the league. So that's a solid finish. Colorado had an incredible year. 70 for their point percentage. Nashville would be at the bottom of the barrel. 32 wins, 70 points. Chicago ended up making it with 89 points. They finished 14th in the league and they qualified. So Bedard, the first overall pick of last year, didn't finish as well as the second overall pick. I'll tell you that. Trevor did incredible. 45 goals and 93 points. Vitrano had 78, which yeah, I'm totally fine with that for him. Troy Terry had 70. feel like we could get some more out of you. Troy, but I'll allow it. Barabanov and McTavish both had 61. We ended up finishing with a 902 save percentage and a 315 GAA, 28 wins. Gibson had a 916, 274. Again, definitely did better than us. I believe we checked last video and Flower was leading the league and he carried that on to finish the season. 44 wins, 282 GAA. All these top three goalies have the same save percentage. And of them, there is one single ability, Vanacek. That's kind of crazy. And then Skinner. Hellebuck is the first one to have an X factor. Kill did end up with over 100 points. And he did it in less than a full season. He had 79 games played. What a unit. Something else that remained from after the trade deadline is that the only two players above Makar are McDavid and Dreisaitl. But McDavid was leading, I believe. So Dreisaitl overtook him and he would end up with the Art Ross. Rocket Richard goes to McDavid, I believe, because I think that the breaker is points. And then Robertson, he also had the same amount of goals, but couldn't quite get the 102. Here's what the playoff tree looks like before we actually get started. I'm looking forward to it. Our first run. As always, thank you guys for watching. If you could leave a like, that'd be greatly appreciated. If you could subscribe, that'd be even more appreciated. So, do what you will with that information. On that note, I look forward to taking on the Golden Knights in round number one of Scott's first ever playoff run. That kind of like rhymed. That was a bar.